one gonna vlog this morning good morning y'all um today is thursday uh what's today it's like september the something i don't know but today thursday um i wasn't gonna vlog this morning but i just text my old boss at my old part-time job and i asked him if i could come back because it's like i got a lot of stuff going on i could potentially be moving soon um I'm about to get another car in the next couple of months for my birthday. I'm planning a birthday trip. Um, just so much stuff that I have going on. I need a little extra coin. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't need this extra coin if my credit cards weren't just out balling out of control. And it's not that I'm balling out of control. I just had some some things that I had to take care of. So, I mean, it's life. Um, so, I wanted to go back to my part-time job so I could save up some money, pay those credit cards off. Or, you know, save up the money from my full-time job. Take the money from my part-time job. Pay those credit cards off so I can be debt-free um, for when it's time for me to get my car and all that good stuff so um i text my boss and i was like hey you know can i come back <laughs> can i come back and he was like hey Bella, you're always welcome to come back and i was like oh that warms my heart it's always good to leave on a good note and just try to leave that you know i be leaving that last impression on folks you know like hey boo <laughs> and it just warmed my heart that he said i can always come back you know that that, that meant a lot to me so yeah so I'm gonna go to work. I'll talk to y'all later. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay. Hey y'all, today is Sunday, September the 17th. It is about 5.13 in the afternoon and I'm kind of doing a little bit of self-care. Um, I got a lot more to go. <laughs> so I wanted to just sit down and talk because I haven't talked to y'all in a while. Um, I haven't picked up my camera all weekend because I've been babysitting this weekend. I had my god baby and I hadn't had her and Gigi together um, in a year. It's been a year. I think last September was when I got Gigi. So, um, but I've been feeling myself slipping in this pattern with not being consistent and not just doing what I need to do. So, I'm going to take today and just get myself back on track and, you know, just get my mind right. So, I did some, I've been doing some self-care. I just painted my toenails. I'm about to do some press-ons. And then, um, I told my cousin that I wanted to get a really good skincare regimen. Um, I want even skin tone. Like, I don't know, I've been saying for a while. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell or not. Yeah, y'all can tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my eyes are darker than the rest of my face so, um, my cousin was she sent me some stuff that she saw on TikTok so I'm about to run to Walmart or probably Target maybe Walmart or maybe I'll just do it tomorrow maybe I'll just do what I have tonight and just do like some facials or maybe I'll just go try to find some like vitamin E like what kind of oils do you guys put on your face because I had this facial oil that I was using on my face and it was really good but I ain't got no more. <laughs> and I got it from Target. But I really want to get a really good skincare regimen. And I want to have myself, not necessarily on a schedule, but I want to be consistent. Like, I want to start consistently waking up at 5.45, 5.30 in the mornings. I want to consistently do my oil pulling. I want to consistently do my facials um, once a week. And, you know, do my face routine every night or every other night or something like that. It's just that I don't... I, <laughs> I don't want to be that person because <laughs> I'm getting late for work. I be 30, 45 minutes late for work. So I got to get back on it, y'all. Um, What else? Nothing has been going on. Um, So I've told y'all uh, a couple of times, like I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm feeling like it's time to move. Um, So I need to call and see, um, call my brother and see where we are, like with me potentially moving. Um, But it's a lot. So just thinking about like, if I move to another city, right? Another state. If I move to another state, um, it's gonna be interesting. Like me trying to, y'all, Oh, it's a lot. Me trying to sell my house. Like, I know the house next door to me. And, um, my house. 
house is I think a lot better than that house but the house next door to me it took almost a year almost over a year for that house to sell like what if I move and I'm not gonna rent out because another house up the street they just had to evict some people and had to get the house redone it's just like I'm not in a space where I am mentally ready to take care of a, a rental property especially if I'm move if I move you know hours away I'm not I can't I don't want to do, I don't want to do a rental property so um I don't think I'm gonna do that <laughs> so it's just like okay what if I what if I am um, presented the opportunity to move you know what if I don't sell my house right then that means I got a apartment to pay for I got a car note but then I'll be making more I mean I, I ain't gonna be tripping because it's gonna work out that means I got an apartment to pay for, I got a car to pay for, and then I got a house to pay for. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's going to work out, so I'm not going to think about that too much. But I am hoping to be able to move soon. <laughs> because I just feel like I'm, I told y'all, I just feel like I'm outgrowing people. I'm outgrowing this space. I'm just outgrowing a lot of stuff, so that's what's going on on my side of town but i'm about to look up this stuff that my cousin sent me for the uh for the face the routine stuff and then i'm gonna go to target oh let me ask y'all oh let's see let let me show y'all i think i did i tell y'all see which i don't know what nails i want to do this week i'm gonna do that before i leave too it's just like i've been feeling myself slipping you know and it's not like we all slip into funks every now and then and it's not like a depression i don't say depression it's just you know how sometimes baby y'all too high i'm low you just know you know how sometimes like you're just not feeling 100 percent like how you normally feel or how you need to feel Okay, so I think I'm going to do these. I thought I did more than one though, but I only see one. I got these two, but I don't, okay, so <laughs> let me show y'all. So these are the press-ons that have like the adhesive in the back, and these are the ones that I'm going to have to glue on myself. Like, I don't want to waste these because I really, really, really like these. I need to go see if I can find more of these. But these, they bend, and I don't like that. But I think I'm going to do these and just cut them real short. But it don't make sense for me to do them knowing that I want to have this set on for a while and knowing that they're just going to bend. So I'm going to do the other ones. Yeah, I was going to take my hair down, but I was like, I'll keep it up for at least another week. Because I want to wear my hair up for at least about two weeks before I start making my new wig and all that kind of stuff. Like, I, I don't want my hair to be out at all. I don't want it to be out at all. I don't know. All right, y'all, I'm going to go. Come on, let's go do my nails. Okay, I'm trying to see if I want to make this like 20 minute drive. Um, it's about 15 minutes, so it'll be what? Is that 30 minutes to and from to go to Ulta and get this stuff for my face? So it's a toner, um, a, a cleanser, um, some kind of I don't know if it's a brightener or what, but like hydraulic acid or something. I gotta go back and look at everything. Um, but everything is at Ulta, so I, I don't know if I wanna just go get that while I'm out tomorrow and just start on that tomorrow. But like, my soul is kinda telling me like, you wanna start on it tonight. So I might just go walk G and then we're gonna go get everything. Um, where is my box? So, Y'all know that I moved into a, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but yes, I moved into an office at my um at my new job. So I moved in Friday. Friday I actually moved in. I haven't vlogged all week, so I'm trying to. I'm gonna. I never had an office. I always had a cubicle. So um well at this job, but I'm trying to find my stuff from my old office that I had, and I'm gonna just put that in this office that I got here. So I don't know what I do with my things. The, oh, here you go. Y'all, I'm so mad. You one right there? Okay. So I got this little, ooh. So 
so I got this little tray. Um, just some knickknacks went in the, went in one of my drawers, but I don't think I need this because the drawer that I currently have it has um, one of these. And I got this. I am gonna take this, but I don't know. Hopefully, um, I can. I will use this. Um, I'm gonna take this. <sighs> This little um thing where you can store some paper so i'm gonna take this um i got this but i don't think i i didn't even use this at my old office or at my old job so i'm not gonna take this but you know these are one of my friends she used to do me like these little cards and i kept these um she'd go like cvs and get these cards made thought that was cute she did this one she did this one and it had my little picture on the back and then some of my clients um wrote me like some little stuff in this girl i used to manage um about five people at my old job and she was like you're truly amazing i'm so thankful i get to work with i get to work with and under you um god puts people oh my gosh it's God puts people on this earth and each has its purpose and yours is shining and you are shining. Lord, I can't breathe and you are shining in yours. True joy you have and the grace you show makes happiness and hope spread like wildfires in the hearts of all those around you. Keep being you and thank you for being you. Y'all, this was, I think Mackenzie gave me this. This was the absolute sweetest and this really showed me. I was her. Like, I was her. And, like, I tell people all the time, like, I was never that boss who was, like, manipulative. You know how some bosses, you just hate working with them? Like, I want people to enjoy working with me. I want people to relate with me. Yeah, I enjoy that. And I got a little fidget, too. I might take that as well. I'm going to keep this. This is so sweet. I love this. So... And I don't know about y'all. Oh, I got some. Why do I have shot glasses in my work clothes? Y'all, I got shot glasses in this box. I don't know why. But I'm going to have a 40 soon, so these will be needed. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. it. I'm just going to take those. I might take this with me. It says make it happen. I might take that with me as well. Little numbers. I'm not going to take it. Cause I don't want anything like, I don't want nothing like that in my office. I don't want all that. <laughs> okay. So y'all also today we need to pack two orders. I got some orders that we need to pack. All right. Y'all, this is my guest room. I don't know if we've ever been in here before, but I kind of want to redo my guest room. Let me close this closet. These are all of my winter jackets and everything in here, like my sweaters and my jackets and stuff. And then my other winter clothes, like just my shirts and stuff are in the other closet. So I used to pack all of my stuff up, but since I have more room now, I'm able to just... um switch closets so i bring all my summer stuff in these two closets and put everything else in that one so these are some of my packing bags i want some smaller ones but i'm going to use all of these up first this is from when i had my boutique if y'all didn't know i used to can y'all see me good <laughs> if y'all didn't know i used to have a boutique it was called bellish um so it was called bellis bellish bellish um so that was my boutique but so um i have some orders for some for some headbands so y'all if y'all just ever wonder so i do the back kind of wide just so like if you're like i am now i don't have any leave out in the back so everything is braided up but if i want to wear my hair in a ball this back is big enough for me to be able to wear it in a ball because it's going to cover up everything and there's a lot of elastic in here so if your head is big or larger um you'll be okay so uh someone ordered this headband and someone ordered um one of these but i don't uh currently have uh the bees on this one so i gotta put some bees on it so we're gonna pack well i'm gonna do that later because i really want to drop those two off at the post office 
Um, and I'm so grateful. Y'all be so grateful when people order for me. Because people don't have to love, show love, and support you. People do not have to do that. And, like, that's why I tell y'all all the time on here, like, I'm grateful. Thank y'all. Because I really and I truly am. Because y'all could be doing other stuff than watching my little video. I need some light bulbs. <sighs> Y'all could be doing a whole bunch of other stuff than watching my videos. But y'all watching my videos, I just be wanting people to know that I'm grateful. GG <laughs> Hush. Make sure to love. Good morning, beautiful people. So today is Monday morning. I am getting ready to um I'm gonna go to the store and get everything that I told y'all that I was supposed to get from Ulta. Um, on yesterday, I waited too late and they closed. Everything closes early on Sundays. I don't know why I wasn't thinking, but, um, so I just showered and I'm going to throw something on. But I was sitting here thinking, like, one of the biggest things that I have to work through getting over is rejection. Like, I have a big problem with rejection and people telling me no. So, like... Y'all know that say you got you need to start. I need to start doing like this with my face. Cause when you do go down, it pulls your skin down. <laughs> I look crazy. But I need to work on rejection. Like I would go so long without asking somebody something. Um, because I'm afraid that they're gonna tell me no. People always tell me, like when I tell my brother, Oh, I haven't asked, I'm scared they're gonna tell me no. He said, you know, so what if he tells you no? You'll just try to find something else, try to find something better. And I'm just thinking about like when I was thinking about going back to DSW, I had been going back and forth with myself about asking my boss for maybe two months maybe i've been going back and forth to myself about asking him if i can come back and i was scared to ask him because i was scared for him to tell me no like i didn't want him to tell me no and so when i finally asked him i was like hey des you know can i come back and he said of course you can always come back you're always welcome back and so i'm sitting here like i wish that all of that time because I was afraid of rejection and he told me I could always come back of course you can always come back so it's like I gotta get out of that like I'm grown now like sometimes I'll wait like if I want to read a text message that somebody gonna see me because I'm afraid what it's gonna say I call one of my friends on the phone screenshot the text message send it to them so they can read it to me or so they can read it be like nah that big you can go and read it like I gotta get out of that I I'm too grown so that's something that I have to work on all right y'all so I am ready to go I got on my headband and I kind of what I like about these headbands is that you can pull you know for it to not show as much hair as you want and then you can pull them back if you want it to show more hair so like when I haven't done anything to my hair <laughs> <laughs> and since I haven't, that's why I got it kind of pulled like that. So, I'm about to head to Ulta. I got like a little self-care list of all the things, of all the things that I need from um, Ulta. And I got some of the things, I'm, I need to go to Target too. So, some things that I might get from Target as well. So, this is what I'm looking like. This is just a little jumpsuit that I bought earlier this summer from um Shein. just threw this on real quick i need to find some more of this if y'all in my area and y'all are in tj maxx and y'all see this tahiri chiffon fresh get it for me i'll pay you back <laughs> i'm gonna i like mixing this and um my i don't think i say machino machino but i think i've heard other people say it other ways so i don't know what it is but i love mixing these two together i get so many compliments put on my deodorant y'all I always forget to put on deodorant that's why I got some in my car my desk drawer everywhere I go I've been seeing some of the girls on TikTok and this like this Van Cleef dupe they found the uh the brown one in TJ Maxx and I really want the brown one but I'm on a no spin until I get my credit cards paid off Yeah, let me go take my baby out. 
Let me put some shoes on. I'm going to go to the store. And I'll see y'all when we get in the car. See, I need to get new light bulbs and all that good stuff. Come, come, come. So, I have made it to Ulta. I'm gonna run it. I thought, I'm thinking about going into Five and Below as well because I want to get me like a like a cup, like one of those Stanley dips. Because I started um, doing flavored water, and I don't like putting flavored water in my regular water cup. Does that make sense? Even though you wash it out, I know y'all gonna be like, you don't wash it out good enough. But y'all, I promise I'll be washing it out good enough, and I still be tasting that flavored water. So, I don't know, I got one at home. So, let's go in these stores. I got my notebook and my notebook got everything I need in it. Here you go. Yo. chicken so um these are actually this is actually chicken on each end of these they are so good because my baby be tearing these up and also these busy bones like when i get gg these little busy bones i don't hear from her so this was uh seven and these were three here are how they look because it wasn't focusing my baby love these street tennis so before i <laughs> i wish i could see her standing up <laughs> See it? <laughs> Show y'all, she's so cute. Gigi, you want your tweet, mama? You want your tweet, baby go away? You want your tweet, baby go? <laughs> Yo, she be so cute. All right, wait. Okay, so before I give her her treat, I make her see it. Gigi, see it? See it? Good job, mommy. My baby been doing so good, and I ain't had no treats for her at the house. She get her treat and she went off. Like, you yeah, go do whatever you want to do with your life. I'm gonna eat my treats. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put these up and show y'all everything else that I got, and then I'm gonna get back to work for the day. Y'all, I spent like $50 at Ulta. So, I hope this stuff works. I'm gonna start my first routine tonight, my night care routine. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull everything out. <laughs> Ooh, broke the bank, honey. So the first two products, let me tell y'all how much I spent. $47.10 plus tax, it was $51.81. So the first thing that I bought was by, by um, Good Molecules, it's the Rosewater Daily Cleaning Cleansing Gel. So my question is, like, I wear makeup. So should I put this on like before I, should I do this at night? Or should I put this on like after um, I do my own 
I mean, yeah, should I put this on before I do my makeup and stuff? Like, I really, it says daily. I really want to do this at night, but I guess it would matter, or would it? See, that's the question I need to ask. So, um, it says a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten um, skin, and this is how this looks, just in case. Let's work on focusing. Don't y'all hate when I do this? It's not gonna focus. But let me put it back in the box now. So this is the cleanser that I bought by Good Molecules. Still ain't focusing. All right, so next is the toner. And it's the brightening toner by Good Molecules as well. So this is the box that this came in. It's like a light blue with orange on the bottom. And this is what this looks like. do this consistently for a month and then the next is I think she said what is this I think this is the vitamin C and what was this for this is the hyaluronic acid by the ordinary here is how this looks and this is the box and what is this this is the vitamin this was either vitamin C or vitamin E and this is, I forgot what she said. Okay, wait. Let me look at the video so I can tell y'all what they do. Okay. Okay. So this is to cleanse your skin. This is to um, brighten your skin. Wait. Hydrate. And this reduces hyperpigmentation. So this is the cleanser, cleanses your skin. The toner, it brightens your skin. Um, the hyaluronic acid, shit. <laughs> the hyaluronic acid brightens your skin. And then this reduces hyperpigmentation. I hope y'all got that, cause baby, um, this girl, her name is Crystal Nicole on TikTok. She is whom my cousin got this from her and my cousin sent it to me. And I was like, I gotta do something. Like my skin is not bad, but it's like, I want flawless skin. Like I've been wearing makeup a lot. <laughs> I'm taking my glasses out so y'all can see. I've been wearing makeup a lot and I wanna be that person that gets out there and be feeling like I don't need it. It's not for me, but right now I be wearing makeup. Okay. I also bought a strainer from the Dollar Tree um, because when I do my watermelon, I bought a watermelon back there and a seal back there because it got seeds in it. And I need to strain the watermelon since I'm on my new skincare thing. I bought these little cotton rounds from Dollar Tree. Um, I really like these claw clips, so I got those. And every, it's like every time I buy them, I lose them. Um, for, when, for my packaging, I bought some scotch tape. Then I went to Target. I was gonna say TJ Maxx. I went to Target and um, someone told me about this duo glue. Now see, I was confused because they had a green one, a blue one, and a pink one. I didn't know which one to get, so I just got the pink one because I mean, pink is cute. <laughs> and then I also bought these little, um, really small, uh, little hoop, little, let me see, my phone, like, oh, I mean, not my phone, my camera. Baby, it ain't focusing, but um, let me see if I turn y'all this way. There we go. So these little hoop earrings, Um, since I got my third hole, like I wanna wear hoops and if not all three holes, the last two. So I bought the hoops. Um, And that's everything that I got today, y'all. Um, Right here, um, I got some orders. So I'm gonna print everything off and ship those someone got something for me so I put it in a cute little gift bag so those are those are my orders doo, doo, doo. and that's it y'all so I'm about to go back in and go clock back in so I can get back to work and I'll talk to y'all later y'all saw that comforter that I was looking at at Target that's gonna be my um that's gonna be my fault that's gonna be my fault in my winter comforter I Absolutely love that. So, 
I'm doing a little sprucing up to my room a little bit, but um, I'll let y'all see that. I'm editing, I just uploaded um, last week's vlog. Now I'm editing um, everything from this week vlog, this week's, oh gosh, I can't talk vlog. So, all right, y'all, just trying to keep everything in order, staying, um, staying on top of things. I'm trying to be more intentional, y'all. Like, it's so easy for us to slip into inconsistency and just laziness. It is so freaking easy. Um, but I'm trying to stay on top of things. So, I'll talk to y'all later. I don't know why I just hopped out. <laughs> hey, y'all. Um, today is Tuesday morning. Y'all, the hardest thing about going to work is me leaving my baby. Like Gigi is a pain with the sun don't shine, but it's still my bag. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're looking like today. Um, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, H&M, DSW. Um, I had on some other shoes, but the only thing about those shoes, y'all, I wear those shoes so much that the metal part in the bottom of the heel is coming out or is showing. So when I walk on like like ceramic floors or hardwood floors you can hear that metal tacking so i need to take those to a shoe shop and maybe get those fixed so that's why i changed my shoes and plus i haven't even worn these y'all see that's my problem i be buying stuff and not even wearing i have not even worn these this summer i can go in my closet and i can pick out a few pairs of shoes that i have not worn this summer um, so I started back cutting out some materials last night. I got one more thing that I'm gonna cut out. So I'm gonna cut out both of those and then I'll start sewing maybe this weekend because I got some new fabrics. Y'all, see what I had to go through. That's why I be put, I told you I'm putting on Craigslist. <laughs> hey y'all. All right. So, get y'all situated. Hey y'all, hey. So, um, I've been home for a while. I've just been laying on the couch, just chilling, just trying to get my mind right. And then Amazon just notified me that I had a package at the door so I'm gonna show y'all what I get <clears throat> I don't like you all right so um the girls that I follow on um TikTok um her name is Michelle um she posted a picture of this scarf and I've been into scarves a little bit lately so I bought it I don't know if I showed y'all. Yes, I did. It was last on last vlog. I had how I had the scarf tied around my um, around my neck. So I wanted to do that with this orange. Y'all, this is gonna be bad with this orange. Look at this. Ain't that cute? It's gonna be bad with this orange. Gigi, move! <sighs> I don't know if this is the one that she had or not. It don't look like it. Okay. So, let me show you I'm thinking about, oh, y'all might do this tomorrow. This is going to be bad with like some cream and some brown. Oh, yes. What y'all think they look like? Let me take this off so we can see. Let me get, y'all know I got to go look in my mirror, bro. This is a little bit longer than the one that I had on the other day, but I'm sure, like, I can shorten it up some. Wait, what is it? Uh-huh. But shoot, it looks the same lid down. Brad. Let me see. There we go, there we go. So this is cute like this. Gigi, get out of there. Get out of there. This is <laughs> Let me go see her look at Cute, cute. I like this, y'all. Mm -hmm. 
I want to do this tomorrow. I do. This is cute. Let's see if I can do this week. Hey, y'all. Let me take my shoes off. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and return this scarf. Um, because it's like really, really like orange. I don't want orange. I want like a burnt orange for the um. Yeah, I kind of want a burnt orange. I'm gonna sit on it a little bit. Um, but it wasn't what I expected because I tried it on because I was gonna do. I was really excited, y'all. I need to change the um the battery in my smoke detector. But I was really excited about doing it with like some um some brown pants. Okay. So I want to make me a cup of coffee because the coffee at work don't be strong enough for me because that coffee sucks. All right, so this is what I'm looking like today. Um, this is from Old Navy. I don't know if y'all seen this or not. I don't think I wore this this summer. So I'm trying to wear everything out of my closet. I told y'all that I think already. Um, and I'm just going to do that with, well, do this with my Jessica Simpson heels that y'all see all the time. And I also kind of stack all of my bracelets. Um, here I got, I think this is really cute. I got this one from Amazon. This is from TJ Maxx, this Van Cleef dupe. This is from Amazon as well. I showed y'all this, it says, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. This is Amazon as well, this is linked. All of these are linked. Um, and then y'all know, if y'all don't know, like I love anchors. Um, so I got an anchor tattooed here. I got an anchor tattooed here. And um, here's an anchor on my Alex and Ani bracelet. So the significance of an anchor to me is if the storm don't cease and um, if the wind keeps blowing in my life, my soul is anchored in the Lord. It's an old um, gospel song. All right. I ain't got nothing to eat. I got some packages to drop off today. And yeah. I can go ahead and go to work. I want to do a cup of coffee before I leave, for real. Let me do that. I need to clean up tomorrow. Well, today I need to clean up. <sighs> I don't know why my job just can't have no good potent coffee. I'm just make some and take it with me. Y'all, I love this little shoe look that I have. I know I told y'all about it. I want this Gigi in her cage getting ready to get for me. Y'all know what I hate? Like, okay. When people just say stuff, one of my pet peeves nowadays is when people just say stuff with no meaning or when people just say not necessarily okay i'm not gonna say that they say stuff with no meaning like when people just say things like so i was talking to this guy right and um just randomly um we stopped talking and i don't know why i honestly don't know why um he stayed a couple of hours from me so i don't know if it was a long distance but he got inconsistent like we used to talk every day we used to text every day and all that kind of stuff facetime every day but it was kind of weird because he never facetimed me at home and i kind of understood because his daughter um live with him but his daughter was in her 20s her early 20s but everything just got real inconsistent i brought it up to him and i don't know if he blamed me or he was like well you're being inconsistent too so i kept trying to pick it back up but i saw i wasn't getting no no motion so i just cut it off so just randomly he sent me a message um on instagram he was like i miss you and i was like prove it I didn't get a response. My thing is, I didn't ask for that. Like, a lot of times, we don't be asking for stuff. Like, people be coming to us with stuff like that with, like, I miss you. But you can't follow up. Like, people just say things. Like, my friend, um, this guy that I was talking to a long, long time ago, he told me, he saw my homegirl. He was like, tell Bella, I said, hey, you follow me on all social medias. You got my phone number. We were real close. It's just like, people just say stuff nowadays just to make conversation, but don't have no, you know, no, just nothing behind it. I hate stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna get my coffee and go because <laughs> y'all probably like Bella, what's going on with you, sis? okay y'all so i had <laughs> a craving for a sausage 
biscuit with cheese on it because i saw something on tiktok last night where this person was like when you get a sausage fish a sausage cheese biscuit made right and the cheese was melted on the biscuit in the sausage and it just looks scrumptious <sighs> my mouth is watering <laughs> so i had to go get me one today so i'm in the drive through and so the guy that was like you know how the drive throughs at mcdonald's have two so the guy on this side he was taking so long to pull around you couldn't let me go here the guy on this side was taking so long to go around hold up y'all okay so the guy that was next to me was taking so long to go around that i just went on around so the lady at the window she over there talking to the girl in the back about some other stuff some irrelevant stuff so she didn't give me my receipt and i ain't think nothing about it so when i got to the window the little lady was trying to give me a sausage uh pancake with some chicken sand or like a whole bunch of stuff and so i was like i didn't get that she was like well what you got i said i just got a um a, a sausage biscuit and a hash brown it's it and so uh, I'm looking, I was like, well, can I get a, she was trying to give me the other man stuff. So I was like, did I pay for that? And she was like, no, 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 you go ahead. No, what my receipt at? Cause she ain't give me no receipt. Give me my receipt cause I need me. So she was like, pull up to the front and the lady, she was trying to get me to go knowing good and well, I had paid more than I was supposed to pay. So she was like, pull up and I'll have somebody bring you a receipt. Okay, see, that's why y'all need to pay attention what y'all doing, because y'all be getting stuff mixed up, and that's, that's my fault, too. Because, you know, the lady was like, hey, that sweet thing, I like your lipstick, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, and I ain't thinking about, you know, she could be, um, charge me for somebody else, too. So, um, that was my fault, too. So, but it was the lady at the window. She, she was like, no, it's my fault. I gave you the wrong thing by accident. Just trying to shoot me off. No, give me my money. So the the manager she came out and um she was she told me that I actually did pay for the hot cakes and sausage and the egg and muffin and chicken sandwich and all that kind of stuff. So she um she was she, she gave my money to be. Hey y'all! So I finally made it home from work. Um, I'm in my bathroom show y'all what i got going on so this is all my hair i got hair in here got hair in here um i just pulled hair out of this box so let me get y'all a tea in i don't know what i went you know. <laughs> let me hold up y'all this my brother i just sit here so and i know he's gonna call me with some mess hello <sighs> okay y'all i'm back if y'all hear g in the background barking i think it's a little girl um walking up the street and i got the window up back there so she's barking at the little girl okay who was the y'all i need to go back through my youtube videos and see who the second hair that i bought from okay so this is the hair from you nice or eunice wigs this is this hair and so oh okay so let me go get my phone hold up <sighs> okay i'm back all right so Mm -mm. oh this is cute too let me say this okay so my homegirl put me on this girl that does hair and um she i've not been to get my hair professionally done and when i tell you it's been so long i don't even remember the last time it's probably been like more than 10 years and my hair is so not what it used to be it's so thin it's so broken it's just it was awful y'all and i got clip-ins in because i'm ashamed of how my hair looks like if you know me or if you're close to me you know like everybody knows me for my pretty hair it ain't them no more <laughs> so i've taken the initiative um i got a hairstylist so um She's going to do my hair every three to four weeks, um, treat my hair, condition it, wash it, take my wigs off, braid me down, all that kind of stuff. I have to because like right here, like where I was getting braids, it's not really growing back how I wanted to. Like I really need to thicken my hair up and do it. Do good with it. Okay. So um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get i want to do a new color for the fall so i want to get um my now i know this is the unis wig i didn't too much care for this because this wig shed it a whole lot so i think i'm gonna get her to color this wig for me was this the unis wig i need to see what i ordered from them because dude how much you wash your hand but yeah i'm gonna get her to color this real good for me i ain't had no more they had left off how much to see what i got from eunice but it shed it so bad y'all let me see eunice okay so this is one more trait why ain't put this in here 
I know I'm gonna sew all of my bundles on. And I don't know, this is the better hair. This is some good hair. I don't know where I got this from. I'm gonna go back through my videos and see why all I told y'all. But like, this hair been packed up and I'm still able to like run my fingers through it. Like, this is some good hair. So I want like, I, I'm not gonna get her to color this one. This is my first time. Y'all, oh, let me show y'all the color that I'm get. Hold up. Okay. So I'm chocolate. I have never had color before. Um, so I either want to get this, these blonde highlights. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. These blonde highlights or look at that, y'all. Those or like something like these. My nose is itchy. Or something like these. Like I want like some fall, like, you know, like some good stuff. I need it up. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to wash my wigs really good. And then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to plan. Like, I'm going to start doing more TikToks and stuff. So I'm about to uh, just plan the rest of my week and stuff. Because I was supposed to do that yesterday, but I did not do that yesterday. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I need to see where I got this hair from. But this hair bad, honey. Yeah. I love this hair. I want, I'll probably give me some more of this. What? I got this dog on hair from. Look at these. Yes. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> I need to buckle my shoes. Y'all know my cat is always open. All right, y'all. Happy Friday. So today is Friday. I am getting ready to head into the office today. Um, late as usual. <sighs> Supposed to be getting my hair done tomorrow. But I don't know, y'all, I have not been to a professional stylist since maybe 2013, 14, 12, maybe. Um, and this is one of the reasons why. So the girl is supposed to be doing my hair. Um, she's gonna, I'll get some color, honey. I'll get some color. So um, I got a wig that I want her to color for me. And I was like, she was like, you can, can you come Saturday? She was like, I can drop the wig off, but can I come Saturday at, um, at 10 a.m.? And I was like, yeah, Saturday will work. But never, she still has not um, texted me her address or anything. I don't want to be like, hey, you know, I'm just going to put the wig in the car. And if she said, hey, drop this by, I'll drop it by. If she doesn't, maybe I'll just have to find somebody else because... The moment that I start wanting to take care of my hair and wanting to do my hair and all that, well, not do my hair, I do my hair anyway, but the moment that I start wanting to take care of my hair and actually find a stylist to go to every two weeks, that's when it, and that's why I don't have one. So let me show y'all what I got on today. Ooh. All right, so, um, just got on this black dress. I love this dress because of the buttons. Y'all see the buttons down the back? And my pockets. This is like one of my favorite dresses. My friend um, bought it for me. I complimented her on it. I was like, girl, I love that dress. Came in the next day, she had me one. That was like the best person ever. If you find good people, keep them near you. But we kinda, we actually kinda grew apart because we used to work together. And we don't work together anymore. I tried to link up with her a couple of times, but it really didn't work out. So, all right, y'all. I'm going to put G in her. Let's see if she in her bed. No, nah, she on my um. She knows that she, I'm going to go and get in her. Look, there she go. There she go. There she go. Ah! Hey, y'all. All right, so I want to give y'all a quick update. Um, Ever since I bought the, um, the products for my face, I've been using them consistently. So I have been working on for my face so i think my face looks really good y'all no i'm recording this is not a filter so i think it looks pretty good and i can tell that my face has been hydrated um because a lot of times like my mouth is like really dry like right here so um it tends to dry and gets get really ashy around like just right here honestly just right here um so i haven't been experienced girl wait y'all shaking like some strippers So I 
I've been enjoying um, the facial products. Like I told my cousin, I was like, they expensive, but you know, they seem like they're working. So the price, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so yeah. So the facial products has been working. Oh my ear. Hey, Bookie. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, girl. All right, so today is November the 25th. Today is Monday. So. Um, just a couple of things before I end this vlog. Number one, don't give up. You know, a lot of times we feel discouraged because we don't see any progress or we don't feel like we're where we're, we, we don't feel like we're where we need to be. Just don't give up. Don't give up. Y'all, I don't know if I show it, but sometimes I be a little discouraged, but I don't give up. I be wanting to, I don't like it. I'd be like, you know, forget this. But I just keep going because like content creating and YouTube, and this is what I enjoy. And a lot of people tell me that it comes natural to me. Um, so I don't give up because I actually like it. Now, if I ain't like it, I've probably been a big gave up. But um, don't give up. I say that to say, um, so y'all know I worked at DSW. I'm going back. I'm going back. Uh, my boss told, texted me today and he was like, go on, put in your application ASAP. I, no, you cannot get up here. I went on and put in the application, so hopefully I'll be back within the next week or two. I'm gonna grind until the end of the year because I gotta get my car. Not even for the car. I'm gonna grind until the end of the year because I gotta pay them credit cards off. Um, so pay those off, then get my car. Then, um, I don't know if, if, I, if I need to stay. You know, I stay, but we'll see. Um, so I say that, don't give up. What was I saying? Oh, so um, I'm going back to DSW. Um, I did a review on some shoes that I purchased from DSW from a brand. Did a review on it last year. And um, I didn't even do a, a, a reel. I just tagged them in my story. Y'all, why they inbox me here? Now, this September, I did the video September of last year. They just um, responded back and was like, hey, you know, we enjoyed your review. Would you be interested in collaborating? And I was like, oh my gosh. People be watching us. Y'all, people be watching. Gigi, I fixed your food. People be watching. Like you may be looking, people, it's even outside of like companies and brands, like just people in general. You might not think people be watching you. They might watch your story, never comment or anything, but they still be watching. You hear me? People be watching. <laughs> yeah y'all that is so amazing so exciting so um they emailed they sent they inboxed me and it was like hey email our um, branding team here and all that kind of stuff so they sent the contract over um while i was at work and um i don't like to look at stuff on my phone so since i forgot my laptop at home today so i'm um, about to sit down and um uh review the contract and everything to make sure that i can do it i, I know i can um but y'all just keep going keep going you might not give it 300 views but keep going because them people be watching keep going so yep <laughs> that's exciting thankful i'm thankful i'm grateful i'm grateful y'all i'm grateful and i'm excited about that i get my hair done tomorrow um so we're gonna see how that turned out y'all know i had some complications at the beginning of last i mean not the beginning but last week with this so we're gonna see how that turns out um what else that's it that's it so um yeah i'm grateful um again as i always tell y'all my better is that thank each thanks to each again as i always tell y'all thanks to each and every one of you guys who take the time out to watch my videos um if you can relate to me um just just thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart i truly appreciate each and every one of y'all i see it i know it like thank y'all um but yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna end this vlog here i'll see y'all either later on this afternoon or tomorrow you guys have an amazing rest of your day bye